The story I'm going to tell you now is a wonderful story and it comes all the way over the sea from a country called Ghana, which is in West Africa. And I was lucky enough to live in Ghana for six whole years and I was lucky enough to learn some of the stories, be told some of the stories and learn some of the languages. And in this story we're going to use a language called Chi and you will know some words by the time the story is finished. Now the other thing you need to know about Ghana is they have a particular character and he is called Anansi. He's a little bit of a trickster. He's the kind of character who would make you laugh when you had a mouthful of fizzy pop. And you know if you laugh when you have a mouthful of fizzy pop, it comes down your nose. On a good day, Anansi could get a whole cheese sandwich down your nose by making you laugh. <laughs> he was that much of a trickster. And not only was he a trickster, not only was he funny, he was half spider and half man. So, shall we start the story? Now in Ghana, if the storyteller starts and says once upon a time, all of the audience, that's you guys, you have to say time, time back to me. So get yourselves ready, clean out your ears. If there's wax on your fingers now, put it on your shoes, it will make them waterproof. Are you ready? Here we go then. Once upon a time, there was the land of Ghana and in the land of Ghana, there were the people and above the people in the sky was the great sky god Nyankopon. Now Nyankopon, he had all of the stories and he would not give them to the people. So every night the people would gather under the stars and around the fires and they would say, hey, did you hear that? Ah, we don't have a story. Hey, you know, once upon a... Ah, we don't have no stories. Eh, hey, I was walking and I saw a... Eh, hey, we don't have no stories. And the people were so sad, they cried and they wanted to tell stories. And Nyankopon, he decided he would give them a little chance. So he said, if the people could collect Osebo, the leopard, Onini, the python, the big snake, and Motia, the fairy with the wings, and Mobra, the hornets, bzz, like bees, then they could get the stories. So the wise men and the wise women and the strong men and the strong women, they all went to try and get these things. But Osebo the leopard with his sharp white teeth and his sharp white claws, impossible. Onini the python, thick and strong and he would crush your bones, impossible. Amotia the fairies. Oh, with their feet that face backwards, with their teeth, with their wide-brimmed hats and no eyes. Impossible. And Morbra, the hornets, who when they go and bite you, it swells up like an elephant's bottom. Impossible. The people tried, the people failed. Now, one day, Anansi was sitting in his house and... <sighs> He was a little bored. 